Right, okay, this is um, Try It Tuesday, and I'm going to do some things for some book pages. Do you know what? I've got hundreds and hundreds of pages, and I don't tend to use them very much because I used to, I use back, packing paper and everything else. So I thought, right, I need to get rid of some, so I need to start doing something with them. Um, you know, making pockets. So because I'm making this journal, um, I thought I would just use some book pages instead just to get some down um i'm going to use don't worry about what's on here um i've already pulled a print off because i've been playing you know with some different things okay um that's only a few of them i've got loads but because uh, i needed a few more because i hadn't done that many that's so don't take any notice of that i'm just using this now with gesso okay and i'm gonna just literally you know start gesso in but using my gel plate just for change so haven't done it this way i usually brayer it all on so i thought i'd have a bit of play on that but it's really about book pages not about the gel plate today it's just that i'm using it um i'm using that one there that i know this isn't this is from america this one so and it's not gritty this one Right, I'm also going to put some down here. Okay, and bear off those as well. I hope you can see that. I might come out a little bit actually, and then you can see what I'm doing at the side. There we go. I'll have to move that up there. Don't want to see my lovely floor. <laughs> I bet you'd love to see my lovely floor. That's about, can't really go any, I can go a bit lower, but okay. All right, so it have to be about there. That's all you can see of that. Okay, and I've got a bit of wallpaper. Okay, and I'm just sort of taking away, so it's quite a lot on my bit actually, taking away some of that and I'll put that on there just to make some marks. Okay, I'm going to go lightly with this one. That's quite a lot on. Okay, and a bit on the edges. These are all, all pre-coffee stains. You don't have to. I've got some that aren't, I think, in here. So I use them as well, but I quite like that. Okay, and I'll put a bit on the back as well. Make sure when if you use gesso that you don't pile them up on each other. Because they will stick together because it's just has got glue in. You don't always need to do the back, but I just tend to. And go. Lighter on that one because that had more on it. I mean, I could use a bigger plate, but I'm just showing you with it the small plate. That's the one I had out, so a bit more on that one. Oh, that's white paint. Where did you go? There we go. Let's shut that one up. There's nothing, nothing, um, what do you call it, fantastic about this, but it actually gets you used to using a brayer sometimes. Ends up quite random. You've got to work quite fast with Jesse because it's quite fast drying. But white acrylic works the same. over the top and then taking a bit more off there 
like that, and turn it quite random, a bit at the top there. Okay, that's cool. Let's do some weird that hasn't been too stained. It's quite thin now, but I'm going to do that as well. Yeah, I'm going to sort of make um, a couple of pockets, cut the tags. Just need to start using some of these pages. It's getting silly not using them. I must put a load together to make some base for some tags as well. That's always good. I just haven't seemed to have got around doing it for a while. And those are the ones that aren't tea stained. That's quite naturally sort of um, aged, that one anyway. Um, it's a bit, just a bit of texture in there. got a few book pages that I've done that are a bit dark as well so I shall lighten up those with gesso I think they've got colour on as well I think they were dark to start with see it so well because these aren't tea stained but the texture will be there okay right just going to put that batch onto the heater let's put some down there I'm just randomly taking some off and then I'll do some that's a little bit on the dark side which is sort of like these been hanging around when I've been playing and I've used them and I just feel that you know, I'm going to put some white on them now because they they are a bit dark. But pages were quite dark anyway, so I'm going to lighten some of them up so we can use them. It's just a little bit there. You have got to work very quick with gesso, I will say. Okay, and that's lightened that up a bit. Okay. 
bit more. So I'm going to use a bit of white acrylic. Got a little bit more time. I just like the texture of gesso. Okay, that's cool. And I'm going to put a little bit on there. Okay, great. Brightened it all up. Oops, it's so fragile. <laughs> well, I'm still use it. Okay. A few more. And then get them dry and we'll get on with what we're making. So now I like, love the way that's turned out. A little bit on there. Okay. But that's great. I like that. See, I like that. <laughs> That's nice and quick. Just a bit of paper there, so. Oops. And the court's picked up loads of bits that were underneath that I was working on, which, again, brilliant. Love it. Get rid of that line just there. Okay, love that.
Okay, like that. I think we might have enough. Let's do a bit on that one. I get addicted to it. Because <laughs> I can do so many at the same time. So it's sort of working in reverse, really, aren't I? Instead of making things darker, making them lighter. Um... And that's looking quite nice too. Put a bit more colour on that and we use that. <laughs> oh, there's a, there's some, oh, a bit of brown paper. Yep, I'll just do a bit of that as well. Well, anyway, I'll do that now, actually. And a bit of packing paper as well. Okay, so... Use some of that. Brilliant. Can you imagine that? Stamped up after. A bit of um, baking paper. Okay. Well, that's worked really nicely. Like that. I'm going to have a bit more of that. And a bit more packing paper to go with what we've got. That I must use book covers. <laughs> Not book covers, book pages. Tell me off if I don't. <laughs> Want me napkin again? We'll put some colour on this. Not sure whether it'll separate though now though because might be too stuck together, if you know what I mean, because of the paint. I never know. It might. Just a few more. Things going on. Let's just leave that dry. I might pick up with another colour. <laughs> Shall we try it? Let's do it. Let's just let that dry a bit more. Let's see what happens. I'm loving this one. I'm just looking at it now. That's really good. Really cool. I might have a bit of white in there. Yeah. Nice. Oh, a bit of white on that one. Right, let that dry and that's it let that dry we'll pull that off and then we must get on okay okay it's all dry this color is lime by dina wakely Very thin this is, but just got to be a little bit careful. Nice pink on there. Okay, they're all nicely dry. Okay, so I got loads of bits of book pages. And I think I'll start off with a corner pocket. I think with easy peasy. It looks quite nice, isn't it, mate? <clears throat> that over there. That's quite nice. 
and then just tear down as simple as but I'm using a book page hey. <laughs> go that way no problem at all so i'm gonna just stick these down a bit i'll, I'll stitch around mine and everything so you don't have to just make sure if you don't stitch around it's stuck down and then this i'm just doing like a set for my journal with book pages it's a bit thick actually go that way just to utilize that same page I will check that fits my journal ish I'll just come in a little bit in case I want it here okay all right and then just cut down there that's fine so and that one we know will be all right <clears throat> i'm just going to come down just a little bit more actually just angle that a little bit more that's it and the texture i mean it doesn't do a lot but the texture is really lovely and then ink up, as simple as these, yeah. Do we want a bit of over stamping on that one? I think we will. Let's go for it. Black archival. Let's blend that in a bit more. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to stitch around mine. So I'll do corner pockets. Um, don't really need to do tags because I've done loads of tags already. Um, but I might show you how to do one out of it. Um, oh, envelopes. Oh, there's loads of things. So you just just treat it like normal paper. That's all you do. Okay, they're all done. I've got a few bits out here. I haven't bombarded myself with stuff. Just a bit. I saw I've got some of the things, some butterflies. I haven't got many butterflies or anything. I've got some scraggy bits here which I will use definitely to add a bit of colour. I'm just going to cut a bit of this off. There we go. It's double actually. Can't have that. <laughs> I haven't used this for a while. Been good. Don't need much. Okay. Right. And um, we'll just make some little displays down here. Okay. But that's just from one piece. Yeah. I took that one a bit shorter because of my page. But that one's going up there. But that also could go in a tour that way but then we would have to cut off a bit to make sure it fit the page I could go against the top tuck but I'm doing it like that right um just 
something like that. So I must probably speed these bits up because I want to do it all and I don't want it to go over an hour so I'm not over inking. some of the pages I mean there's nothing nobody hasn't already done this you know book pages and pockets and all that been around for a very long time so I just thought well, that's my take on it so oh I need to make sure we see that yeah, I'm just thinking if I stitch that pocket in okay sometimes I do and then I could stitch over with black if I wanted to but I won't be with the spring journal so sometimes I do but I won't be with this one that's that and let's put something down the bottom Okay, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put a grommet here. don't know why I want to do that, but I do. I think we only got silver ones in here. Be right. Oops, it's got a thing on it already, look. Little things here that we made previously, which I can't get off. <laughs> Hold on, here we go. <laughs> Silly me. I don't actually know how I've attached them. No idea. I don't want blue. Yellow would be nice. There we are, and then close that. Up. I'm not going to put the button on because that's enough on that one for where it is. Okay, like that. So that when that goes into page, that dangle. You know, like, like that. And I quite like things sticking out. So that would be great. Or it can be pushed in. But I like that. So that's that one.
no idea where this come from, but it's been ripped off of something. <laughs> and I quite like that. So. As you know, I do like my sort of raggedy teas and things like that. So again, it's not everybody's cup of tea. Okay, I will do a bit of a running stitch along the bottom there to keep that in. And I will over stitch that as well because we've got fabric there. And then once I've over stitched it, I will fray all that. Here we go. Okay, just stitched along there and then here and then I've just pulled all the threads out. Okay. And I think that'll look nice in here, like somewhere like that. Yeah. And when you see, you know, making sure there, you've got that colour that runs in with that bird there. And I think that can look quite nice. So I've done that. So that's two. All right, let's get on with some more.